Steve Allen here, and today we are gonna be working on this sweet 95 second gen 4Runner. We are gonna be making a high clearance bumper, replacing this guy, and putting in some side plating on the corners, and haven't decided what I'm gonna do across the back here though. So we'll figure it out as we get that bumper off. And then we're gonna be putting a center positioned tire carrier on there and it is going to look pretty sweet so stay tuned here we go okay here we go i think i have a general idea of what i'm going to do i'm talk to aaron and we are going to remove this hitch because it is sucking on the departure angle and what i'm planning on doing is tying in a new like high clearance bumper tube across the back and then I'm going to recreate what they've done here with the hitch up inside the tubing of the side rail here and bolt that in Put a couple bolts up in here one there one further forward here's the plan for the bracket that's going to go inside the end of the frame rail and I'm going to weld the cross tube across the back right into that and that'll that should put it right in behind the, the rear door there, down a little bit, probably a little higher than this little guy here. Got the brackets in, so I think I'm happy with the way they, they're looking. So I got a bolt here, uh, it's an M12-175, and then another one up at the front there. And that's just a nut that I've welded on the inside of this plate here. Same thing on the side. Keep that nice and solid. Gotta crank that tighter. Got the um, rear cross tube in, so we're gonna clean this up in a second. But this post here, I think I'm gonna put it right there, weld it in nicely across the bottom, put our hinge support brackets right up in here, and that'll get the hinge out there. I'll do something different, obviously, on the other side to wrap around with the, the side panels. But I'm thinking this is gonna look pretty nice like that and I'll butt that up against the tubing here I'm gonna try a little technique that I use on the fuel carriers when I'm making those make it out of a sheet of steel and then because this isn't super complicated I think I should be able to assuming this is the right size score this um these side panels along these cut lines here and i can cut them i wouldn't cut this one here with a plasma cutter because it's way too thin and it would totally warp but i could do that with an angle grinder but i think what i'm going to try and do though is score it on the back side and then bend it over and there is the almost semi completed version I like it, so let's... So I like the way this is coming along. I'm gonna get this bolted in at the front here. So we'll replace those with some longer bolts, but this looks good, so I... I can sort of tell when I've got one in here, right? Um, but it's easier to tell when I've got two. And I can tell already from looking at this line, I cut a little bit more into the line on the bottom. So chances are it's gonna to be too far out going this way here. And we'll see that in a second. So put that up there.
here we go. Okay, so we're good. And that. So now I can get in there, tack that into place, and then start working on the swing arm uh, length. Okay, so that is all done. It is smoking hot right now. So the while we're waiting for the hinge to cool down, let's make these extension plates that we're gonna put on the bottom of the side panels here. I like that better. Here, clamp them, or at least hold some steel on the back side now that I know this is right online. And then just tack them into place and then I'll weld them in later. Um, probably gonna be able to use this scrap piece here that I've got, that's at 45 degree. So that's going to come in there. I think that's going to be really close to the right length. And then I'm just going to cut an angle here to mimic the window angle. Okay. So now we're working on the neck of the tire post. So we want to figure out the distance from the top of that tire post to the back plate here. And then we're going to take off a quarter of an inch for the tire plate. So. So that's just going to go on to the tire post like that. Now we've got our 20 degree angle for the front and the tire plate can get welded right onto that. Not put this tire neck on here and I'm gonna just measure this out. I want to make sure I got it centered left to right. Take a look at it from the side. Perfect. Okay, it is Friday and we are working on these side panels here. You notice I have a long sleeve shirt on today because as much as it's so hot and humid here, my arms are getting so red from welding and I really should wear long sleeves. So if you're welding, wear long sleeves. Well, we got everything back from the powder coater. Got the side panels up in the front. They're small, I didn't want them bouncing around. Let's get them on this rig. It's gonna look great. <laughs> 